Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I am going to tell you the most important question that how to explain your automation project in an interview. Guys, I have gathered 2000 plus interview questions which contain the Selenium interview question, Bangalore interview question and the Java interview question. So if you want these notes, I am giving my uh, notes link in the description box and the comment box. Go through this and the download these notes. So let's begin our interview question. The question is how to explain the your automation project in an interview. So uh, I have to give the project overview that I have how to explain the project overview. So I work on e-commerce web application that allow user to search for the products, add them to the cart, and make online payment. The application has a different module like login, product search, cart, checkout, and the order history. The goal of our automation project was to reduce the manual testing effort, ensure faster review and the improved testability. So, if the interviewer asks the uh, explain the project over you, so that time you have to explain them this way. But our question was explain the automation project uh, framework structure or project a uh, project view in the interview. So if the guy, you guys, if the interviewer asks project over you, that time you have to explain like this. So the interviewer asks that why you choose the automation uh, in your project. That time you have to uh, say like, since the application had a frequent UI changes and the multiple test scenario, manual testing was time consuming. You all know manual testing is a time consuming, so we use the automation framework. So we implemented Selenium automation to handle the regression testing, ensure cross-browser compatibility, and speed up the release cycle. So the automation script helps in the identifying issue early and the reduce manual report by the 60%. This is the answer uh, we have to say when the interviewer asks why automations or the manual testing you choose. Now we have to explain now explain your frame. This is the main questions of this video. Just explain your framework. The first question was project overview means how to uh, give the project overview or project flow in the interview. Then why we choose uh, automation for the manual testing. Then the question is explain the framework, explain the component of the framework. So let's begin. First we have to tell the clearly what type of framework we have uh, used in the framework. That is hybrid, data driven, form and the BTT. So after that, after telling the which type of framework we have used in the uh, project, we then we have to tell its component. So uh, I'm giving here the detailed description. Uh, in this way, you have to tell the uh, all explanation in the interview. So we developed a hybrid automation framework that combined the data driven and the page object model approach. The framework, uh, framework components like Selenium web driver we use for the UI automation. Java we use as a scripting language. Test engine we use for the test execution and the reporting. Page object model we use to maintain the separate pages, page classes for the reusability. Then we use the Apache PUI to fetch the test data from the Excel. After that, we have used the log4j for logging the test execution data. Then we use the extend report for generating interactive test reports. Also, we can, uh, if the interviewer asks if the test engine uh, include the report, so yes, test engine includes the basic HTML report. And the extend report contains the attractive test report. So we use the Maven for the dependency management running test. And the lastly, we use the Jenkins for the CI/CD automations after every report running. So this is the framework structure means uh, why we use Selenium web driver, why we use Java, why we use Maven, why we are using the extreme report. Now for the test case execution and the integration with CI CD. So uh, here we have to explain the how to test script were executed. So what is local execution, what is read execution, what is cloud based execution, and the how Jenkins we have used in the for the CI CD. So the test script were executed on the multiple browser like Chrome browser, Firefox browser or the Edge browser using Selenium grip for the parallel execution. We integrated our automation script with the Jenkins to enable the scheduled execution after every code commit. Whenever a new build was deployed, Jenkins triggered the Maven command. Uh, that is FBN clean test 
and it executed the test cases and sent the test report via email to the team. <clears throat> so guys, if the interviewer asks that uh, how the test script was, how the test script were executed, so that's time we have to say that our test we are executed on the multiple browser from the code Firefox or the Edge and using Selenium. And the, if the interviewer asks how the Jenkins were used in your project for the CICD, so we have to say like that we fit Jenkins to enable the schedule execution after every code commit we have made. Whenever new build was deployed, Jenkins triggered a maven command that is MVN clean test and it executed the test cases and sent the test report to the uh, uh, our team via email means Jenkins will automatically send the report to the our team when the test process uh, exe test execution is a pass. Now, what challenges we have faced or how to solve it? So here we have to talk about the real challenges that that we face in the project and also explain that how we identified and fix the issue. So challenge we have faced and how you identify uh, these challenges and how we fix that issue. So one of the biggest challenges we faced was handling the dynamic element where the element expert kept changing on the every page. So what are the solution for that? So instead of using the explorer expert, we use the dynamic extra bit content and the start bit function. We also use the explicit web that is web driver web to ensure element where fully loaded before the interaction. Also, we implemented the customer, uh, custom reusable meter for dynamic element handling. For the reporting purpose means, uh, if the interviewer asks that what type of report you have generated, so we have to tell them we have generated extend report test engine report. And how defect we are log and run track. This is also an important question that what type of input you have generated, how defect we have logged in the track. So that time we have to explain that for reporting, we have used the extent report to provide a detailed execution result with a screenshot for the query testing. Also, we have integrated our automation suite with Jira, where we log the defect found on during the test execution. The defect we are assigning to the developer and once the it fix we the executed when the test cases. That time also we have to perform the retesting and the regression testing. So what was the final outcome and the business impact when we create our project or when we log to the Jira and after project uh, completion? So we have to tell them by implementing our automation framework, we achieve the 60% reduction in the manual testing. Faster execution with parallel testing and the CICD integration. Also, we include a defect detection rate which ensure the better product quality. Regression testing was completed in two hours instead of the two days. So, automation helps the team release the software faster with a fewer defect, making the testing process high efficient. In this way, we have to explain our project and also I covered a different uh, scenario question regarding the project. So, final summary of the, our project that uh, how I uh, how we have to tell the interview in the two or the three minutes. Because when the interviewer asks our questions uh, our, about the uh, project explanation, so we have to complete uh, into the two or three minutes. Means with max in maximum five minutes, we have to cover the all project explanation. It's a maximum in a five minutes. But it's my suggestion to complete this uh, uh, interview questions in a two to three minutes. So like that, I have to. Uh, so sorry, I ha we have to explain that. I, I work on the e-commerce web application project where we automated the key module like login, product search, cart, checkout, and the payment. So for that, we have used a hybrid framework. Hybrid framework means it is a combination of the one or more framework. And for that, I have combined the page object module with a data-driven framework, which built with the Selenium web driver. For the scripting language, we have used Java. For execution purpose, we have used the test engine and the uh, for the data management, we have used the Apache QI library and the, for the integration, we have used Maven and the Jenkins. The framework includes page object model for the maintainability, test engine for the test execution. We have used the extent report for the reporting purposes. We have used Jenkins for the CI CD pipe executions after every code commit. The script were executed on the multiple browser using Selenium to ensure cross browser compatibility. One of the major challenges was the handling dynamic element. 
which where we are using uh, which where we have drop by in the explicit weight and the dynamic expert so automation should uh, significantly reduce the manual effort to 60% improve the test efficiency and help the faster reading the regression testing time was reduced from two day to two hours allowing quicker feedback and the better software quality in this way we have to explain our automation frame uh, project in a just two or three minutes also in this video i have covered the uh, basic questions regarding the automation uh, automation project like why we will choose the automations then the how the test script were executed in our project how the changing was used for the cicd purposes also what type of challenges you are facing in your project how you identify and the fix the issue in the jira what type, what type of uh, reported you have generated in the project how the defect you are logging and the track also uh, explain the impact of the automations of the project uh, also this question i have covered guys in this way i have uh, explained the automation project and uh, some question regarding automation project if you like my content do like comment and the share this video to uh, your friends and uh, also uh, i am giving my notes link in the description box and the comment box if you are if you would like to download this notes so go through this link and the download this notes thank you for watching my video and once again if you like my content so please do like comment and the subscribe my channel and the share this video to your friends also thank you for watching